welcome back. I am Tanmay Mazumdar staying with you. Today we will learn about how to georeference a map on ArcMap from control points. The toolbar that we use is called georeferencing in ArcMap. So let's begin with. Today we will georeference a cadastral JPGMS. Here you see that unknown spatial referencing which means that you need to georeference this image so press ok before georeference this cadastral map now i am introducing you some basics of spatial referencing what is spatial referencing when coordinates of spatial data are referenced to their corresponding positions on the earth surface then it is called a spatial referencing a spatial referencing is classified into three one geo referencing two a spatial adjustment and three is cap data adjustment geo referencing geo referencing is the process of locating features on the earth surface to its original location when the features are raster data like satellite image, aerial photographs, scanned map, etc. Then this type of special referencing is specifically called georeferencing in GIS. Today we will georeference this cadastral map from control point. So at first we need to add the control points. Here we see some red marked area we develop the control point in those areas through GPS survey the control points are inputted in Excel and this is the control points X coordinate and Y coordinate before inputting in Excel there are some process to get this control point in BTM projection but uh, in this time i don't mention this process here i want to mention that if you click here and make a space then it is also counted when you save the excel file so you have to declare the required data by database declaration for this select the entire data and click here and write something i like it is rs map and its jail number 025 and its mouse name is sort of right so then press enter then save the file as excel workbook 97 to 2003 because the updated version of excel file is not opened in arcmap i previously saved this file so i replace it continue then i open arcmap click add data then double click on excel worksheet and here the name which I declare in database declaration process click it and press add then it is added but we don't see the control point to see the control point see the control point right click on the layer then click display XY data here in X and in Y field Y then Z field none and here the projection system is BTM and then press OK but alas you don't see the control point to see the control point right click on the layer then click zoom to layer but now we don't see the raster cadastral map for getting this cadastral map in this extent right click on the menu bar then click georeferencing add this to your toolbar then right 
then click on the drop down of geo reference then click fit to display then you get the cadastral map in this window now you have to rotate shift or scale this image for approximate max first i want to plot this then i shift it you see that it is approximately masked now i geo reference this image for this at first take a corner then click at control point then it is our exact location and it is the false location first click on the false location then click on the right location then you see that this point is geo reference now go to the opposite corner of the map then click first false location then true location in this way you have to geo reference at least four control point for getting statistics then i geo reference this point If you add any control point incorrectly like this, don't press Ctrl Z. Go to view link table and just delete the control point. Then we add the fourth control point here are two points I just now click zoom to layer then if you view the link table then you see that you get a rms error and it is 0 0.09 you only get this rms error when you add at least four control points for knowing the accuracy of RMS error, go to the raster image and click properties, then go to source. Then you see that the cell size is 0.46. If the RMS error is less than the cell size, then your georeference is perfect. Otherwise, delete the control point and again geo reference your image or add more control point to get the accepted value of rms error here you see another things that the transformation type is first order polynomial now you can you have to save the link table so save it to your specific folder click update georeferencing then your georeference is updated so to know the basics of rms error and first order polynomial now go to our presentation what is RMS error? At the time of comparing source control point and the target control point, we can evaluate the transformation by calculating RMSE, root mean square error. You have to add at least four points for getting RMS. RMSE is used to assess goodness of fit to control points, but this does not measure the non-control point distortion 
ESRI call this LFS least square feet here is the equation of RMS error and where is the distance between source control point and target control point in the ideal situation the RMS error should not be greater than cell size allowable 1.5 times of the pixel size here the point from which we go to actual point then the distortion is called the residual error types of transformation there are many types of transformation here one is zero order polynomial this is commonly used when the data is already zero reference but a small shift will better line up your data uh, then first order polynomial or affine here requires minimum three displacement length but for getting statistics of RMS always take at least four displacement links it is a homogeneous transformation only shifts origin scales and rotates a straight line will be prevented here the raster image that we do reference in this session here we see the first order polynomial because we have four displacement link in this process you can able to georeference any type of raster map so no more today today's discussion is in thank you everyone